Welcome back to the Wood Harvester Controls tutorial series. Let's take a look at the input bindings, explain what each of them does, and show you my personal joystick setup. I'm going to start with general input bindings, in case anyone is interested in the basic controls of my setup. To move the vehicle, I use pedals, but when I don't have much time or when I'm modding, I use the joysticks. So, to accelerate, I use left stick, POV forward. To brake and go backwards, I use left stick, POV backwards. To steer right, I use the right stick, POV to the right. And to steer left, I use right stick, POV to the left. In the crane section, I use the standard ISO controls. So, rotate crane right, the standard control is left joystick to the right. Rotate crane left, the standard control is left joystick to the left. Raise crane arm is to raise the main boom and the standard control is right stick back. Lower crane arm is to lower the main boom and the standard control is right stick forward. Raise crane arm 2 is to move the stick away from you and the standard control is left stick forward. Lower crane arm 2 is to move the stick towards you and the standard control is left stick back. Extend crane arm I use the left joystick left button since in real life on machines with mini levers you use the thumb button up and it feels similar to me that way. Retract crane arm I use left stick right button since in real life you use the mini lever thumb button down and it feels similar to me that way. The open and close input bindings are not used in the wood harvester control mod because it has its own input bindings but while I'm here I'll show you how I have them for the rewarder grapples. So open crane tool I use the right stick right button since in real life, you use the mini levers thumb button up and it feels similar to me that way. Close crane 2, I use the right stick left button. Since in real life, you use the thumb button of the mini lever down and it feels similar to me that way. Rotate crane 2 right, rotates the head clockwise and the standard control is right stick to the right. Rotate crane tool left, rotates the head counterclockwise and the standard control is right joystick to the left. Now let's take a look at the wood harvester controls input bindings. Turn on off head. There are two ways to turn the head on and off. The third is to use the default turn tools on off input binding. As you may have that input binding used to turn on implements for example, I have created this input binding as a second option to use it in forestry harvesters. It's important to note that setting this input binding doesn't disable the turn tools on off. So both will do the same thing. In my case, I don't have this setup and I use the default keyboard command with the B key. Run so. As in the previous case, there is also two ways to use the saw. The first is to use the default tool function 2 input binding. Since you may have that input binding used for implement functions, I have created this input binding 
as a second option to use it only in forestry harvesters. Again, it's important to note that setting this input binding doesn't disable the tool function too, so both will do the same thing. In my case, I have it set up in the left stick trigger button. This button is used to run the saw and cut, but if you have the help function activated, it can also be used to feed the tree with the automatic program. I will talk about that and the different saw modes in another video. Close head. I used the right stick, left button. Since in real life you use the mini lever thumb button down, and it feels similar to me that way. A short press on the button closes the head just a little bit. If you hold it down, it closes completely. And if there is a lock in range, it grabs it. Same thing with the standing trees. As you can see, the knives and rollers are closed at the same time because in the in-game specialization there is only one grab animation. This is not totally realistic, so I also support for independent animations of the knives and rollers. But of course, that has to be implemented in the harvester. This is the Komatsu 951 by Oscar8599 and Woodcraft modding and it has independent animations implemented. It is available in the official mod hub and I'll leave you the link in the description below. A short press on the close button closes just the knives a little bit, which is more realistic and along with the good collisions of this head, it helps to grab logs off the ground or position the head correctly when you are going to cut down a standing tree. This button can also be used to run the automatic program, just like in real life harvesters that have mini levers. I'll explain that in detail in another video. Open head. I use the right stick, right button. Since in real life you use the mini lever thumb button up, and it feels similar to me that way. If you press the button, the head opens completely. And if there is a tree in the head, it drops it. If you hold the button down, in addition to opening and releasing the tree, the head tilts up. This feature can be turned on or off in the menu, and even customize how long you have to hold the button down for it to tilt up. We'll see that in another video. Open close head. I personally don't use this button, but it's an option that is used in real life, for example in Ponce harvesters. This button works as a toggle. If the head is open, when you press the button it closes completely. And if there is a lock in range, it grabs it. Same thing with standing trees. If the head is closed and you press the button, it opens completely. And if there is a tree in the head, it drops it. Like the open button, when the head is closed, if you hold the button down in addition to open and releasing the tree, the head tilts up. Manual fit forward. I have it set to the right stick POV forward. The head fits the tree forward as long as the button is held down. It's also used to cancel the automatic feeding, but that's more advanced and I will explain that in detail in another video. Manual feed backward. I have it set to the right stick POV backward. The head fits the tree backward as long as the button is held down. Like the previous button, it's also used to cancel the automatic feeding. Manual feed forward slow. I used the right stick trigger as a shift button. 
So for this function, I use the right stick trigger plus the POV forward. Pressing this button, the head fits the tree forward slowly as long as the button is held down. Manual fit backward slow. I use the right stick trigger plus the POV backward. The head fits the tree backward slowly as long as the button is held down. Automatic program. This button will run the automatic program which can affect the feeding, felling cut and backing cut depending on the options set in the menu. I will explain all the options in detail in another video. I personally don't use this input binding because I run the automatic program with the close button, like in real life harvesters with mini joysticks. But in harvesters with other type of joysticks, this function has a specific button and that's why it has its own independent input binding. In this series, when I have explained all the basics, I will make videos showing how to set up the input bindings and the options for the mod to work like the different harvesters. And I will show you real examples of this button. Stop feeding. I have it set to the left joystick center button. Although I don't need to use it because of the type of options and automatic program I use. This button is used to stop feeding and it's very important especially when using automatic feeding functions. I will show the actual use of this button when I explain the automatic program in the next few videos. Heat up. I have it set to the right stick trigger plus center button. Although I don't use it much because I usually do this function by holding the open button. Pressing this button tilts up the head into position to cut a new standing tree. This button can also be used for more advanced techniques, especially during thinning, because when you are working with small and light trees, you can hold the button while the felling cut is being made and the head will remain tilt up until you release the button. This is very useful for getting a standing tree out of tight spots and then releasing the button to drop it right where you want it to fall. Tilt down head. I use the center button of the right joystick. This button is used to remove the pressure that keeps the head in the raised position. So it goes down by its own weight and it remains in a floating mode with free tilt. When the head is tilted down in floating mode, you can hold this button down to force tilt down. This can be very helpful to give the head some tilt and firmness to grab a lock from the ground with the knives. Also for applying some pressure on a felling cut. In that case, since the head is up, you have to press the button once to put it in floating mode and then press and hold to apply the pressure. Tilt up, down the head. I personally don't use this button, but in some harvester there is this function. This button is a toggle. If you press it when the head is tilted up, it goes down. If you press it when the head is tilted down, it goes up. Fit to length preset buttons. I use the left stick POV left for one of the buttons and the POV right for the other. Pressing these buttons will fit the tree to the length set in the menu. Each binding has two length presets. To fit to the first length preset, you need to single press the button. 
and to fit to the second lens presser, you need to double press it. Open with Harvester Controls menu. There are two ways to open the menu. The first is to use the default Tool Function 3 input binding. Since you may have that input binding used for implement functions, I have created this input binding as a second option to use it only in forestry harvesters. It's important to note that setting this input binding doesn't disable the tool function 3, so both will do the same thing. In my case, I don't have this setup, and I use the default keyboard command with the Y key. If you want to quickly see what each input binding does, you can go to the help menu and scroll down and here you find the wood harvester control section and under input bindings you will find all the information. If you use joysticks and don't need the keyboard input bindings, I highly recommend removing them because they sometimes conflict with the joystick controls. Let me know in the comments if this video was helpful or if you have any questions. And if you liked it, give it a like and subscribe to not miss the next one. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.